Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. To be fair, it is even higher than unfair difficulty. We cranked up uh, the levers all the way. Um, almost all of them are uh, cranked to the maximum. So we are, uh, we have arrived in act number four. I've spent the better parts of the last two hours uh, arranging equipment and new skills and uh, getting the prime team and also the secondary team ready and good team. Uh, what I wanted to showcase is basically both of uh, the teams uh, to see how well they are going to do. So without further ado, let's get into uh, the meat of it and see what we can do. We have a couple of quests. Clearly, everything is kind of huddled around footfall, but um, yeah, there are quite a few contracts actually here. Provisions for Prometheum. Uh, we can complete that. Plat steel for people, easy. A uh, bit of Oh no, that would be profit factor um, will be reduced for Flogiston, and I don't want that. Adamantine for mechanisms, I think that's okay, we can do that. Xenotech for weapons, new. No. Chemicals for plat steel, I think that's fine. And weapons for provisions, that's fine as well. Which means we only have profit factor reductions, which I do not want to reduce. I actually want to increase that. So this year um, no. Although Flogiston is great, profit factor I value much higher than that because profit factor means we can buy stuff. So let's take a look what we can do. Let's do that together. Obviously we need to go to footfall. Well, that's fine. And um, Caligo's winter scale does not have the slightest concern about the events in the Coronas expanse. Now by, might be a good time to head um, uh, for the head of the Valencia's dynasty to pay his uh, uh, his eminent peer. So it's likely that we need to side with either of these war uh, lovers. Um, then what else do we need to do? We have a couple of other smaller uh, tasks. Um, visit Dragonos. Okay, fair enough. That is um, Arden's uh, side quest. Iridia wants to find the door that she talked about. Jay wants to go to Footfall. And then finally, we need to visit uh, Fetus 6, uh, 4, sorry, the Coronas Expanse for, I think it was Heinrichs, yeah. So let's start with Heinrichs because this man is part of the Prime team. And I want to make sure that we're showcasing in this episode the prime team and how they fight. And then in the next one, we'll look at the secondary team. Which is clearly less powerful, but I wanted to test out a few new builds. I want to surprise you with some. So. Let's look at this here. Fetus uh, 4. Let's find that real quick. All right, so I was uh, simply minding my own business and flying uh, around because, uh, number one, we wanted uh, to find that Fetus 4, I think was uh, the planet's name. I couldn't find it by just hovering over, uh, so I figured there are a couple of unexplored stars. Might as well start there. Uh, when uh, something happened on the bridge, so let's take our prime team. 
and deal with whatever heresy is about to come. It's also a good um, means of checking how good the prime team really is. Hmm. I did use a completely wrong team. Never mind. Embrace true power. This very much looks like something is not going well. The world trembles. Okay, this might feet. be a chaos intrusion here. Take and force a lot, Captain God Emperor, by be with you. Only you can deal with this spawn. Permission to report your lordship. I started a few watches after the translation. Well, actually, they say this associate of yours has been acting strangely. Um, he was swerveling back and forth, um, barking something in a Zeno tongue. The voice of she who thirsts. That's Slanesh. He heard the call. Any of our kind who find themselves beyond the veil become tempting prey for Slanesh. Can you see her? Yes. Your Lordship? Whom are we referring to? I cannot see anyone, but I can uh, certainly sense a war presence nearby. You say you can perceive it? Where are the victims of the massacre? Anyone who get uh, their hands on your lordship, officers, servitors, technomad, he even attacks uh, a servitor, although that didn't last long, he just tore his head off. Okay, uh, where is Marzai now? The Xenos, he's holed up in there. He correlated a number of crewmen, like Groxes to a slaughterhouse. Abelard is like the prospect of having a rabid Xenos crawling inside our bulkheads make my head uh, sick. Okay, Solus. The very first warp jump with a Drukari on board resulted in a tragedy. Numerous disemboweled victims left the officer decks um, in, path, um, in the path walked by Marazai, who seems to have completely lost his mind. <sighs> Come on, dude. I'm just trying to have a bit of peaceful coexistence. How? Look, over there. Powers unseen. Uncover my path. State your intention. Intriguing. Do you require inquisitorial approval? Um. Where it gets medica each time the wearer uses a medikit. More temporary wounds and advanced medkit. That is nice, but we're not using trigger. that very often. Pay attention. Take heed, rogue trader. There. Fascinating stratagem. Easily done. That was a problem for you. The Inquisition taught me many things. Fantastic. Heinrichs just uh, Zolos those traps. I'm watching your back. Always. There. Too bad uh, that I failed to bring the prime team because I wanted to see how they are working together. Abelard and earlier would not be part of that. Alright, the wearer gains an additional stratagem ability. All allies in the target instantly re reload their weapon. After each attack made by them until the start of the Warriors next turn. That's not a bad stratagem. Marasai jerks his head when you appear. He already gaunts a face tightly wrapped in a pale 
a grey parchment like skin, his teeth are barely feverishly and the dark eyes have turned into two pitch black mirrors that could show the reflections clearly if you gaze into them. He opens his mouth but instead of words an unnatural rasping hisses out uh, in this creature shall ever possess intelligence there is no sign of it left. Artisan of pain at least at least we meet uh, my poor child look at him mortal look at how he yawns to return to the one that uh, who carries his kind on uh, rejects so stubbornly come on child follow my voice and my prince will grant you all the bliss and torment of the universe good let's put it down my dark hint has lost his mind and she who thirsts allow me a However, this um, great differences are, uh, however desolate the depraved and dark ways might be, I cannot blind my eyes to Slanesh and let her take him. But if you let uh, me get close to the lost child, if you lull him into uh, letting his guard down, my prince will reward you, Saike. I will try to bring him to his senses. Look closely at uh, Marazai. Persuasion, can you hear me? Let's talk. Your confident voice reverberates through the metal room. The Drukari blinks and blinks again. Mirror-like surface of his eyes seem to ripple as if something else begins to surface apart from the soulless reflection. How many dis, uh, disjunctions uh, did you survive in the Komarak Marazai? The warp is powerless as long as you refuse to let it get hold of your master yourself. The words appear to have reached Marazai's mind. He shakes his head and closes his eye, then watches to take a deep breath and relax his shoulders. Why are you confusing and tricking the lost child? The end is decided, the end is inver uh, inevitable. What are you? Uh, what about all that talk of the great Aldari race? If you could see yourself now, you worthless, quivering beast. Mirage um, um, uh, was all that took uh, for you to soil yourself. And Marasai will rip out your tongue and make you swallow it piece by piece along with your teeth. Marazai, behind you. The demon end brings a piercer down on Marazai's head, the clang against the raised blade. Marazai crouches and shovers the shrieking warp entity away from himself. Artisan of pain. No, no, you're mine, Marazai. You're mine. Well, not yet. The absurdity of your struggle amuses me. Oh, we got a couple of... Oh, we got a couple of enforcers here. All right. Let's order everything. And uh, Saiken stands over here. We're putting earlier over here. All for here. Heinrichs here and Avalard here. We Gucci. Let's go. One step closer. I will triumph. All right. Um Let's do this and a little bit of that. How could this guy be at one hit point the entire time? All right, very strange, but okay. Such tasks. 
Good. All of you get a nice little debuff that is massive for these demons. Then let's do a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Momentum increase, uh, that is fantastic, I love it. Willpower increase on Saiken, and uh, Ulfar gets an extra turn. Alright, that looks fabulous. Let's go, baby. Well, this guy still doesn't die. Good hit. And we're just continuing with our own ultimate. Good. That guy is just lying on the floor for now. And I'm okay with it. If I may. Ruin beckons. Everybody, word of the Emperor, that, and that. And no one is damaged, so we don't need, even need to heal. But Wolfhark no would take another turn. Because if you ask me, he has not yet killed enough of them. Crit for 500, yep. That seems legit. I think that gives it a pretty decent taste. We didn't even have... Um, <laughs> if we just had Cassia, um, Ulfar and uh, Syke in there. And Heinrichs, to be fair. Alright, Marazai, they're gone, Syke, but they're still looking in the threshold. Keeping watch, I can hear their whispers. How do monkey bear from this day in and day out? Early it is, you will hear the whispers every time the void vessel travels beyond the veil. Learn to accept it, find an anchor in such times, or lose yourself. An anchor, Ashunurani? Uh, that is for those who seek to delude themselves with false limitation. I won't let Slanesh claim me. Marasai, have you regained your senses? Your presence is causing me a great uh, deal of grief, Xenos. Your kin step beyond the veil with nothing but the crude technologies and prayers of a dev god. Expect uh, those uh, such as I to rely on such paltry protection for the terrors of she who thirsts. Throne sake, Lord Captain, says the Enforcer. Are oh, you even listening to him? 
The living meat that serves you talks too much. They would, however, make for perfect playthings. I need to... Uh, mm, strength in order to suffer through your oafish voyage beyond the veil if you don't obtain such source of sustenance lanesh will only keep testing my limits oh no I forbid you from moving about the ship unsupervised and from here on out you will be kept under lock. We can't just let him hunt and kill people. Oh, that's no bueno. Embrace true power. And for him to slaughter others uh, to appease Lanesh like, what is he even thinking? All right, the real crew would be without Abelard, and uh, it would be hein uh, Heinrichs. Ulfar, we would have uh, we would have our battle sister and Pascal in there. Beneath my feet. So I still want to test their limits once more. For my sharp senses. Got a nice little plasma gun. Powers unseen uncover my path. All right, so we're still trying to find Heinrich's gig before we were uh, rudely interrupted, and I also started to build out some of uh, the uh, colonies because now we can build out level four, which is fantastic. And with level four colonies, we should. Uh, also increase our profit rating quite substantially. So the game is giving us uh, access to the higher loot very soon. And I've seen a lot of uh, the colonies can create higher profit rating. Um, one sec. All right, so <clears throat> now that this intermezzo is done, uh, like you can see we immediately gained nine profit factor. Lord Captain, the Crucible Great Sculpture is underway. Faustown is being transformed right before our eyes into a fertile world. From the mouth of the relic came several thousand people who speak an archaic form of low Gothic, uh, demanded to be given orders. Uh, the cultivated land um, builds houses and uh, production facilities. However, it seems that these people are completely lack their own free will. The tech priests who serve the Crucible came upon uh, birthing vats built into the relic. Uh, the machine constantly uh, grows in touch with them. Um, good. Pronounce the touch, the property of the order of the ham uh, hammer, and uh, let them continue to do it. With your guidance of the brothers and sisters of the Ordens of the Hammer, the Touch carried on with their toils, cultivating the land and building new settlements. The people's very veriness of the Touch never went away. A number of reports have described cases of um, persecution, even violence towards them. All right, very good. Profit uh, factor increased, and you can see that we can now go to level four. Um, can build a couple of things here. And level 5 would uh, require uh, certain uh, preparations. Let's look at level 5, what we want to have. So there is Arbitrator Solomon Vireth Armor, which looks absolutely fantastic. When the wearer hits a criminal enemy, uh, enemy they get perplexed. Then Blessing of Saint, all... Non Xenos allies gain plus five bonus to all characteristics and skills. Oh wow. Oh, this is this is fantastic. And righteous charge, which is a huge hammer. No. We're going to do exactly this here. Um, talents are always good because uh, those passive effects are improving over time. Unfortunately it blocks holy def uh, defenders, so 
Um, that's unfortunate because it's a lot of profit factor um, in there, but I like I like that. Very good. Janus uh, got profit factor for us as well. And let's see what um, what we could get here. Each time the ally is healed in combat, um, the damage of this ally is increased by 4%. And it stacks. That's pretty damn good as well. All allies gain 12 ag uh, dodge against Xenos. That's fantastic. I think that's even better, to be fair. It's a flat-out dodge bonus to not even take damage. 18 people, on the other hand. Mwah. Fantastic. Question is, how often do we get healed? I mean, we do have a couple of healing uh, effects, so sure, uh, it could make sense. Uh, but realistically, that is potentially just 8% damage. Well, what am I saying? 8% is a lot. Hmm. Both need the Great Fire, so let's get uh, the Great Fire going. Which we're going to start uh, right now. That's a prerequisite. Good, down here. Fantastic armor. The wearer uh, has not moved during the turn. Cover is increased and 20% dodge against what? Against range tech. That's really good. Uh, when the wearer attacks any target in a 5 cell radius around them, the ranged weapon, they deal more penetration. And then we got Woebringer. I think this here is good. 21 people is also nice. Problem is, this is minus 5 and minus 3 profit factor, so... Hmm. I could see that this here isn't too bad. If you attack with a ranged weapon. Okay. So, profit factor plus five. Sign me up. And we got an orbital shipyard here. Which was pretty good, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, profit factor and Imperial Navy likes us more. That's good. More profit factor. What do we want here? Player character gets Exalted Instrument of War. Allies uh, gain plus 20% minimum damage to their ranged attacks. Oh... Uh, that is fantastic. This isn't bad either, but this is just too good. Okay, archive of uh, expands and holy um, and holy ammunition. Good, where's the holy ammunition? I don't like those cross um, finalizations. Sometimes you need to finalize a project in a different uh, location. Holy ammunition, this is what we need. Crusade or shrine. Oh, 
that, that requires oh that's okay we need Drusarian's reputation okay so whatever we're doing here we need Drusarian a lot of Drusarian reputation okay fair enough see sometimes it is a little bit more difficult uh, to get all of these things in order um, but yeah in order to have this year um, archive of the expanse that needs to happen first profit factor eye of uh, the omnisaya that seems like a pretty good uh, mm, equipment item that we're getting there as well uh, and we got saint cognius's ostosium whenever the wearer uh, suffers an attack from a demon or warp damage they inflict burning to all adjacent enemies. All burning effects inflicted by the wearer deal double damage if uh, they are targeting demons or psychers. That's fantastic. I'm not even sure why we're uh, producing that fast. Good. We need reputation with Drusians um, on mass. And we're slowly running out of slots, so we've got to be careful here. Imperial Navy um, is helpful. And profit factor is also helpful. So let's start with that, but we need to get holy ammunition. Okay, see, it's a lot of uh, just micromanagement. Um, let me just check the Drusarian's uh, reputation real quick. Okay, good news. <coughs> we are not that far away from uh, the Drusarian uh, reputation, but we need to work a little bit more on it. So we need loot to essentially sell. Good, back to the Coronas Expanse. So, I am thinking uh, we are well equipped. We just need to uh, get that um, that reputation further up. And the first thing that I wanted to do was Phyton 4. It's located in one of the fringe systems of the Corona's expanse. I wish you could track these things a bit more. Uh, that would be very helpful. So we had a couple of not explored worlds over here. Might as well warp travel over. And as as always, there are just hundreds of things that are happening. You're getting interrupted quite often, it, specifically at the beginning of a chapter, uh, which I do understand the design decision because they want to uh, make sure that you're not missing these things, but at the same time, not optimal. So let's see who's interrupting us this time. Okay, that is new. Your Lordship, if I may beg you a minute of your precious attention, I am elated to notify that the delegated of the High Electiasis of the Administ uh, Adeptus Ministratum have arrived at your vessel. The holiest of his servants have come to proclaim the veneration before the rogue trader, faithful to his word and fearful of his wrath. Long may the Van Valencia's name be praised by the annals of the Imperium. May the God Emperor protect this dyn uh, dynasty from the peril. Um, word of the righteous and diligence in serving him has spread to the farmost corners of the Corona's expanse. It would be folly to let the, such paragons such as you travel amongst the stars without spiritual support. We are here um, to do that oversight. From this day forth, the ship is will be 
consecrated daily and nightly by the servants of the Electisarzi, given um, uh, to you for toils eternal, so that his highlight in these halls may never fade. The banner of Saint Cognio, uh, Cognacius obtained in the conquest of the expanse by this gift still instill the trepidation and revenance in the hearts of your subjects. Does your lordship wish to witness the installation of the altar and the banner? Uh, banner, it would be a great honor. All right. Oh wow. Well, we are definitely a dogmatic uh, team, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, lovely. Let's maybe talk to Marazai and see what he thinks. Uh, okay. I had no intention of ending my days playing the role of meat in the arena. And then you... You blithely offered me an alliance after what I'd done to you. Why? I value good fighters, you're one. <sighs> That is true, but I'm not merely a hireling. It is strange you did not consider that when you offered me an alliance, but it does not matter. All right, after what happened with the officer's bridge, how do you cope with the warp crossing? You dare to ask me that question? Every time this barge pierces the veil, I am left alone with all the nightmares of she who thirsts. It costs me all my fortitude and strength to fight them off, and there is never anyone at hand with whom I can indulge myself. Only cold walls and a sealed airlock. Since the first time, I have been slowly acclimatizing to voyaging through the veil. Only Monkey could have conceived of such a suicidal method of galactic travel. However, it is novel and exhilarating. And now it is time to learn what is happening with the Cabal of the Reaving Tempest, leaderless and abandoned to the mercies of Kamora. Hmm. The survivors will probably be driven into real space to fall prey to Silent Thresh. You must find them. If we encounter the remnants of the Cabal in this dimension, I will want to speak to them. Now that I have gained a foothold in real space, I must find a way to win back my Cabal. Irimaris is dead and the Reaving Tempest will be torn apart by Kamora. But if they do not let themselves fight, I will feel no particular pity for that worthless scum. All right. We clarified that with him. Shards of the Tempest, Marsai uh, desires to meet with a group of uh, Cabalites, the Reving Tempest, who are likely to be banished from the Komora. The former Draken insists personally dealing with uh, those. Yeah, that's all fine and good, but we still want Phaeton 4, which I am continuing to look uh, out for. As for now, we're exploring the uh, last few systems here, and we should be good to go. Already explored, explored. Now we've been here. Why does it then say if we've already been here, which I knew we had, but I figured maybe there is a new plan, uh, planetoid uh, that we haven't found when we were there the first time. Okay, ah, it says here not explored. All right, let's go. My bad. The saboteur that they found most definitely is a tech priest. He found a way on board the ship, penetrated security systems, 
both with his ability to communicate with the machine spirit and the combat potential of the augmentations. Nevertheless, the enforcers managed to capture him. During the arrest, the intruder offered no resistance. Instead, he asked for an audience with uh, the great machine spirit. When he realized that the enforcers had no idea what he's talking about, he asked to meet with you. Every single time that we're traveling, every single time something is happening. This can't be coincidence. The game is just giving us those little snippets as you move from A to B. But there can only be a finite amount of those events. And I'm still looking for Fetus 4 because I want to do Heinrich's mission. Uh, because that it was the original intention for using the prime team uh, to showcase that to you but we have a lot of rp to go through which i don't mind it's a role-playing game at the end of the day and not just mission after mission but i'm lusting for a little uh, for a good fight nomos the group of servitors whose movements are suspiciously well synchronized stare at the towering priest I greet the master of this vessel, Cathedral, and offer my humble apologies for the unforbidden uh, unforbidden intrusion. Um, my apologies to you as well, brother. Um, and of course, I must beg for forgiveness to the Great Spirit. It was not my in intent to desecrate your temple. Why did you infiltrate my ship? My name, if it matters, is Esclaptius, formerly computer, generate, uh, computer general of the Cogniatus fleet. Now a liber uh, rake loose with the status of Malatek. Malateks are exiles whose idea have not crossed the line of heresy yet, uh, but have come close. They are removed from the fleet structure to give them a chance to see the folly of their ways and prevent uh, sedation. Uh, Esclapsius, all of this is trivial. My past is nothing to, uh, but a set of archive data. My lost status um, is a part of replacement strings in a long chronicle of the cognizant uh, fleet. I come not as a priesthood messenger, but as a faithful disciple in the most holy um, animate. My brother once served the Engineer Prime on this ship. He was an adherent to the school of discontinuing the cycle as I am I. It has spread that far. I know my brother perished, but before he did, he sent me a message um, that told of a journey embarked by Theodora Van Valencius, a journey through a dimensional gate and towards World Sanal, the blessed Armathias was with her. Uh, there, upon the dark worlds, he witnessed a great miracle, the birth of a machine spirit um, of incalculable might. My brother believed the spirit fell aslumber within the ship, like a child in the crater, uh, cradle. To reach the ship where my brother uh, died, uh, the ship upon those decks, the blessed Armanet had uh, walked and prostrate myself before the great spirit. Okay, um... What do you know about the Great Spirit? It's a great miracle. The Messiah's uh, breath um, mean to help to discontinue the cycle. It was born of a treasure that Armanot and Theodora discovered upon the Dark World. Okay. Does the m uh, name uh, Nornos mean anything to you? Nope. He has not come in contact with us. He will if you let him cycle. We know, we sense that his words are about us the story he has told is our story all right i'll find you guilty of the offenses against the cult mechanicus and house valencius your crimes warrant punishment more severe than death you will atone by serving me and therefore the imperium I could not ask for more. All I wish to remain uh, is to remain in these halls. Let the circle be discontinued. All right, a little bit of dogmatism. And of course, Nomos wants to speak with us. I salute the ruler of the ship. Um, you read the databank uh, recovered from Theodora's cache, and uh, then you said the incident marked the beginning of Nomos. Yes, Nomos, remember, you brought us data sustenance. We recognized it. No, not like that. 
um, in the name we recognize the place where Normos originated. Uh, I see you found your great spirit, S. Clapdius. I found a miracle, he says, in the end of my worldly road. I've never seen and never will see anything more meaningful than the spirit of Normos. All right, you were a servitor. Um, you were in servitor's body at my magna session, Normos. How is it that you're once again the cogniator? Um, all right. Apparently, they get along uh, well uh, with one another. I have talked to Normos. Um, not sure what the game wants me to do. Let's see if Pascal is... Ah, yeah, he's potentially not having anything there. Well, I, I like that the ship now looks a little bit more dogmatic. A lot of priests are running around and are serving uh, the Emperor. And Nomos apparently is one of our companions as well. Okay, Lord Captain, the Orgers have detected active combat operation in the orbit of Euphorus 2. We tried to contact the explorer of the flagship of the Cognizant uh, fleet, um, but received a strongly worded demand not to, under, uh, to interfere. Give me details on the combatants. The world is besieged by a, squ a squadron of the Cognizant fleet supported by a joint uh, vessel from across the entire expanse. Among the latter... Um, Registering vessels recruited by the Lord Inquisitor to defend the sectors. Uh, they are opposed by the final dawn scum led by the blasphemous traitor uh, from the ranks of the word bearers. Why are they refusing our aid? Their reaction is the result of a reasonable wariness, your lordship. Then again, the cult of the final dawn spends the entire uh, world and has proven its effectiveness time and time again. Who is winning? We detected uh, the parity between both sides. Okay, we're... Hmm. Are we interfering or not? Alright, I am blind, guys. After a long time, I found out this is an uncharted system. That's exactly where we need to go. So, let's war travel there and hope that we're not running into hundreds of other um, things. Lord Captain, the Lady Navigator has been waiting for you on the bridge for half a cycle now, you see, because of her presence. All right. Well, yet another interruption. It's the fourth jump with the fourth interruption. Lively little travel events, eh? Lord Captain, we must speak now. I have given much thought of all that happened, and to us, perhaps, you indeed have feelings for me, perhaps I have feelings for you in turn, but we, we are not meant to become something more. At a time when my duty of Horsa Selio will call upon me, and you have already summoned me to your duty to the God Emperor and your protectorate, would not be better then if we ended things now, before it's too late? Is that what you truly want? Uh, I have said so already. Um, have I not been convincing enough expressing my feelings? No, that's not it. I just... Hmm. 
Cassia, no, it's merely what your heart is telling you. I see a uh, human feelings in every day. Emotions are fleeting. They are too quick sometimes. Everything passes. Are you upset? Please, that's not what I mean. Ah, we're not giving the dick big fat love you yet. All right, I chose you. But I nearly killed you. Uh, I could have died a great many times and yet here I am standing before you. Is all of this just a lark to you? No, it's not. Let's kiss her. Please, don't come any closer. Well, bad timing. Why can't you understand? I'm a navigator. I'm a mutant. I am nothing but a tool at his hands, and tools are not supposed to have feelings. A new mutation cycle, just like that, in the middle of the last uh, last warp jump in this body, will go through even more ghastly changes. I don't want uh, you to see what I become. Uh, now, please let. Me. Why is the game? at the beginning kind of almost forcing her upon us and I was like very reserved then she gave us gifts and was all about it and now I almost have only options to tell her how much I like her and sim for her that what what kind of writing is that anyways she quivers as she makes a weak attempt to slip out of your hands oh boy this is a little bit too romantic for a dogmat uh, like Saiken, but okay. We're just complimenting her mind that can never go wrong. Cassia listens in silence, her eyelashes lowered. Uh, a barely noticeable smile tucks in the corner of her mouth. She wants more? Well, that is that on the other hand is typical female writing. It never goes with just one compliment. You gotta, like, feed the machine. All right. Um, I find myself smitten with your raised chin, your refined manners, and stern look in your eyes. Nah. I would not say any of that, but okay. When I feel uh, in my embrace, it, it feels like home. Oh, are you telling me the game wants me to like go through all of that? Yep. Yep. So I can stop. I hear you. I can see the colors so pure that I'm afraid I might scare them away. Only when I stand before you fully dressed do I feel utterly bare and defenseless. You've captured my heart, made me fall in love with you, um, and shown me how to love myself. Oh, okay, well this time uh, she goes in for a kiss. Uh, before she withdraws, after you give her a parting kiss on the forehead, she flutters out of the study. Well, she's a lady at the end of the day. She's not an easy girl. We found that uh, out already. And she certainly, her love language is um, romance and, uh, and a lot of nice little words. Okay, well, that was a fun little distraction once again. All right, we moved on. Next system, Lord Captain, um, the Nerador Wells from the Augur crew are reporting that they have reached the Nola Septum system where Promethium Refining Hive is located. What the, by the throne emperor preserves, the entire system is darker than the inside of a ass. Um, local star, it's kind of gone. All right. This is another star missing. Thank you for your com comprehensive report. Apologies, uh, Lord Cap'n. As the esteemed uh, Master Helmsman just stated, the Augur crew 
uh, is troubled by anomalies of absent star in the heart of the system. And oh, there seems to be a refugee ship that is gone as well. Not very good. I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the Drukari here. And after that battle, um, I think we're ending the episode. I will fly off screen to that uh, location up there. Make our way there because the travel takes a long time. I'm not sure if it is that entertaining. Um, but we've covered a lot of ground RP wise in this episode. Empyrean awakens. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, well. We got like what? couple of um, one to three uh, three enemy ships Let destruction annihilate them. almost got them that's fantastic torpedoes now this should kill them. Good, so that's one gone. Charge. Then we're flying all the way to here. Hit their flagship and Us to a little bit closer target. so that we do have a higher chance to not miss. Unfortunately, that's that hasn't worked out. And we're just moving quickly. Shields to the back. And let's see what's going to happen. Okay, we're turning around. Let the Imperium guide us. And unfortunately, we're not n nowhere near as uh, fast as to get there. Our vessel will be potentially isolated and destroyed. Yep, the torpedoes are quite a thing. Steer us to our target. Send their souls to the void. Good, moving up. Good hit. Fabulous hit. One thing that we do not have is enough movement to get close enough. Apparently. Unfortunate. another one down Empire. 
Blaze on our path. Step into the cold. Nice hit. Incandescent beams scorch our enemies. We're moving to the side. Um, restarting shields and can we jump? No, we cannot jump. Let's turn around the void ship. Steer us to our target. Unleash torment. And unless we're missing all of these shots, we should be good. There we go. Yeah, it was a harder than expected fight, but we got a lot of uh, scraps out of it. Um, let's see. While flagship is in such a position, evasion is increased. I like that. But I also like the uh, Empyrean Storm. I think we're going to go with that first. A couple of boarding parties as well. Shield pulls. And a little bit extra range. Good. In terms of um, in terms of repair, I think we can upgrade a couple of posts. So and that's a nice little upgrade. Haven't used the ability, and everything else seems upgraded as well. So we're good. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot uh, for watching. Truly appreciate it and uh, see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.